Click on the link to access over 50 free workout programs to help you lose weight, tone, sculpt, get and stay fit. Whatever your goals may be, we've got you covered. You're watching Jimra and I'm Alice Maples. Today we're going to be doing an upper body workout. Working the biceps, the triceps, the chest, the back, the shoulders. Oh my goodness, it's going to be fabulous. We're going to start with a warm up and we're going to alternate the arms just to get it nice and warm. Open it on up and just get the body moving. We're always nice to our joints and our muscles. Ooh, we got some water coming up. <laughs> so alternate those arms. Keeping the chest open. That's it. Next one, we're just gonna be crossing and opening. So thumbs up and open, and then cross them down. Coolest, coolest move right here. <laughs> Can take this to the clubs with you, right? Or just in your living room, whatever. <laughs> so open and close. That's it. <laughs> Keep it going. Around it. And that's it. Next, we're gonna inhale our arms all the way up and exhale through cactus. Inhale up and exhale through cactus. Few more. I love this one. It opens up my chest, my back, my shoulders. And last one. Next, just shake it out. So alternate this. This is a lovely one to release the, the hips the spine, the upper back, the shoulders, the arms. Just alternate side to side. Beautiful. Next we're going to do some cross body punches. So bring it around and then hook it each side. We're going to be doing some biceps later. So you really got this. Alternate those biceps. Good. You got it, you got it. A few more here. Can't help myself with the bounce, it just feels right. <laughs> We're not doing lower body, but I got that bounce going on. All right, next one is bringing it up again, round it, and together. We're gonna be doing this with weights later, but just to warm it up. Feels good, looks great. <laughs> and alternate a couple more times. That's it. And beautiful. Let's begin with some triceps. You can grab your weights. I like using lightweights, but if you want to really get that pump going, you can pick some heavier ones. These ones are okay to use a little bit heavier on these triceps. So, first one, hinging at the hips, keeping your chest up, and then tricep kickbacks. Beautiful, so stay low. Keeping those elbows from not going to full extension, but just enough so that you feel the burn in the back. Good. So keep pushing back, we got two more, and one. Next, I know we said weights, but this one's great. You're gonna sit down on your, your glutes, on your booty, and your fingertips are gonna face towards you. You're gonna bring the, those glutes up towards the sky, and then tricep dips. If this bothers your wrist at all, maybe you put them on an angle, or push down into the ground, that can help too, if you're jamming too far into the wrist. So there's a lot of different options. Good, so press and extend, getting as low as you can. Good, got two more, and one, excellent. All the way back on up to our feet. Bring those all the way up, and we're doing the triceps still. So you can bring those together, and extend them on up, good. Mm -hmm. Keep on extending. Squeeze those abs. A lot of women, they come to me and they say, Alice, get rid of my underarm wings. And I say, well, I, we, can, we can work on that. We can tone them. But that's naturally, we only have two more and one. That's naturally where a lot of women hold a lot of weight. So see my arms, they're skinny, but they still have a little bit of movement because there's muscle there. Latent muscle moves around. It's just a reality. But if you really want to work those triceps, you can do tricep push-ups. So your fingertips are facing forward now, shifting your shoulders over 
and then down. Okay, so those are really hard for me. I'm gonna go down to my knees, shifting forward and then bringing it back up. Okay, and you can go down as far as you can each time. Measure your progress, okay? And it's not quite where you want it today. Maybe you're only going like a half a centimeter or something. That's wonderful. Keep on doing that. And each time, push your limits. As you can see, I'm not perfect at these, but I'm still doing my best. I'm still going for it. And I'm talking while I'm doing it. <laughs> we just got two more. And one. Woo! That's tough. Next, we're going into biceps. So back up to your feet. Whew, I got out of breath a little bit on those. And we're just starting with hammer curls. So keep that chest up. Squeeze those abs. Good. Keep it going. Straight up and down on these ones. That's excellent. Really watching that posture, okay? This is your chance. Keep those chests up. Shoulders down. Excellent. Two and one. Next one. Now it's out to the side. Hug those elbows in. Palms are facing out. And then bring it on up. That's it. Keep it going. Again, if this feels too light, you can always go heavier. If you're, if even just one pound is too heavy, just do the movement without the weights, okay? Starting anywhere is great. Good, almost there. E, two, and one, perfect. Next one is a reverse bicep curl. So my palms are facing down again, keeping those elbows in, bringing it up and bringing it down. Excellent, keep those chins up, chest up. That's it, squeeze those abs. We can work our abs. Just squeezing them is working them, okay? And try not to round. That's a tendency I see a lot in my classes. So keep those chests up. Good, two, and one. Excellent, next we're gonna do a twisted curl. So we're going here. Oh wait, no, this way first. So down, and then all the way up. So palms down, twist it and bring it up. Make sure not to swing. If it, the weight's too heavy, I see this a lot, okay? So keeping it grounded and then alternating. See how I'm not moving at all? Steady stay right here. Good. Still keeping that chest up. Great job. Good. Keep squeezing. That's it. Good stuff. Couple more. And wonderful. Next, we're going right into shoulders. So bring them up all the way and then down. Again, if this is too heavy, whatever weight you have, you can just reach them on up and down. And that's great. So extend up and then back down. Really reach up. The more you reach up, it's gonna help your handstands if you're into yoga, okay? So reach up and then back down. Keep it going. Squeeze those abs. Reach tall. Good, you got two and one. Next, we have a forward or a front raise. So we're bringing it up, elbows come high, and then back down. So bring those up. Side view looks like this. Bring those elbows up and then back down. Right up that body line. Mm -hmm. Good job. Right in the front. Looking good, feeling good. Keep it going. All the way up, drive those elbows up towards the sky. Try and relax the neck. Two and one, excellent. <laughs> Next one, we're gonna be doing the, it's kinda like a big semi-truck driver almost. It's like, we're gonna be going up and then back down. All the way up and all the way back down. Keep those chests up. Good, again, watch my spine. I'm not rounding, I'm staying really steady each time. You can see it working. Great, great, great job. Still breathe, try not to hold your breath. Don't want you passing out doing your shoulder exercises. <laughs> Start to feel this after a while and again, too heavy, drop the weight. Again, we're not overdoing anything. We're into consistency. Okay, excellent. Next one, we're gonna be going to XTYs. So we're hinging at the hips, and then we're gonna go X, which is straight back, a T, 
and then a Y. Okay, so how that looks, just if you're looking at me front, X, T, and then Y. Okay, but I'm hinging at my hips so I get more of my posterior chain as opposed to the front body, okay? Hinging at the hips, X, good, T, and Y. Good job, X, T, and Y. This one I think is the hardest one for me. <laughs> Woohoo! Keep it going. Pinch between the shoulder blades as well. So it's like you're giving yourself a hug, like you're giving your spine a hug, okay? So especially on those T's, pinch between and then bring it all the way back on up. So X, T, and Y. Oh, so hard. T and Y. Good. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Really pinch between. So don't sandbag anything. And last one. Beautiful. Nice work on that. Next we're going to be working on back. Okay? First one is going to be a back row. Hinging again from the hips. We're going to just be drawing our shoulder blades together and pinching. Okay? Pinching at the top. So drive it, pinch it. Hinging forward. If you feel any pain in your lower back, you're probably dumping into it either like by arching it or rounding it, okay? So keep it neutral as you extend and contract. Keep that chest up, keep those bellies in. And we got some waves coming. <laughs> Good. Mother Nature always likes to visit. And two and one. Next one we got straight up back fly. This might feel familiar, but it's not in a combo this time. So hinging and then flying backwards. So you can watch it from the back. I'm pinching here and then bringing it back. So open it up and bring it back each time. Good. Staying low. And if you see, my knees are still behind my toes. Great. Keep on pinching. This is fantastic for working on your posture and it will translate to other areas of your life. Confidence, feeling better, having more energy. Just got two more and one. Nice. Next is a single arm row. You can either put both of your weights in one or just go to single. And we're down on one side. You can either put your hand on your leg or you can go from here, okay? And then so you're gonna just drive it up. Keeping that chest up. So I'm kind of like down in a lunge and I'm I'm rowing right here. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. And that's it. Keep driving it. Good job. Two more. And one. Excellent. Other side. Down low. And then drive. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Keep that chest up. Excellent. And still, you're still pinching that shoulder blade, but you're not swinging, you're not moving the body all around, you're just focusing on isolating that one side. Anytime you do that asymmetrical, it's great for that body. Excellent. And we're gonna continue doing asymmetrical with alt back fly. Again, hinging, alternating side to side. Right here, alt side to side. Keep it up. So feel every part of your body here, especially your back. See where the muscles are starting to engage when you go backwards, okay? It's about mindfulness of your body in all situations. Doing these exercises helps with that. Keep it up. Keep squeezing those abs, great work. And still keep those shoulders away from your ears. I know there's a tendency for all of us to raise it up anytime we get tired or stressed or nervous. One more each side and phenomenal. Okay, we're gonna go to the ground next. And we have our mat here. These next uh, core exercises are gonna also be using our upper body. And you don't have to use weights, but you can. First one is gonna be either side plank here, you can put your knee down, or 
you can just do traditional sides. We're doing a little open rotation here. So keep your body in line, open it on up. Keep your elbow close to your side. Keep your chest up. Try not to dump into your, try not to let your booty sag and keep it up. Good, so squeeze those abs. This is great for shoulder stabilization as well on our plank side. Good, two more and one other side. So I'm here, side plank, that's it. And keep that shoulder, right, keep the elbow right underneath that shoulder and then your elbow here is opening and closing. Good, don't let that hip drop. Keep those shoulders away from those ears and still breathe. Good, keep it going. Almost there, two, one, and wonderful. Next, I don't recommend using your weights on this, but if you're like, no, Alice, I'm cool, I'm, I got this, then you can do so. You can either do bird dog, which is extending your arms and your legs here, or you can do it from plank, okay? So not shifting your body from side to side, but keeping it steady. Good, so alternate it. Really try not to shift your hips. I'm like watching, like, am I shift shifting? Try really hard not to. And raise that down, like give yourself a thumbs up each time for showing up for yourself doing these workouts. So you can see my whole core shaking. Good, alternating side to side. Still breathing, still keeping those shoulders away. Good, nice work. Get those thumbs up. One more each side. And done. Beautiful. Next we've got some roll ups, sit ups. Gotta move this. Okay, on this next one, you can use weights or not. Up to you, for sure, okay? I'm gonna keep my arms extended the whole time up towards the sky. So this is our starting position, and then I'm gonna, like being pulled up. Oh, there's sand, okay? Getting pulled up, bring it all the way up, and then all the way back down. All the way up, all the way back down. We're not falling down, we're controlling ourselves as we go up and down. So really extending up. If this is too hard, then you can always just do little crunches. So you could crunch it up here. No need to go all the way up if it doesn't feel good on your body. Excellent. All the way up, all the way down. So, so reach up towards the sky and slow, come down. Almost there. Whew. Good, keep it up. Two more. And then the last one. And fantastic. Next we're gonna, I'm gonna just hold on to one. One is enough for me. And we're gonna go alternating side to side. So you can either just kind of have your arms extended here and then side to side. Or if you want a little bit harder, you can go here. Let's see if I can do it. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna extend. I'm gonna drop it side to side. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> Good, oh. So keep your chest up as high as you can. If you get tired, you can put your knees down or you can just kind of rotate side to side here, okay? So all are great options. It's up to you, okay? Or you can just undulate between the different options and see what feels the best. Good, two more, and that's it. Whew. I love doing core because it helps open up the chest each time. Speaking of chest, we're gonna head right on into that. So slowly coming onto your back. We're going all the way down and doing some chest press. So I, my elbows are out to the side and I'm pressing straight up, bringing it back down. So pressing up, bring it all the way back down. And this will feel easy. And if you have heavier weights, if you're like, oh, this is too easy, then you can go up. And if you're like, I'm still sucking on air, then just drop the weights, okay? 
great job. Keep it going. Really squeezing it together at the top. Only two more and one. Now right into chest fly. Different because you open your arms up. Slight bend in the elbows. Bring them all the way back and up together. Don't forget about your abs either. So squeeze them. If you, you could have your back into the ground, but for me it feels a little bit comfortable to have a natural curve of my spine. So do what best, feels best for your back, okay? So keeping it squeezed in and then alternating it here. Good, that's it. Nice work. Almost to the end of our workout. We just have two more and one. Next we're gonna do a combo of all of them, okay? So we're gonna do chest fly, chest fly, chest press, chest press, but only single side. So fly, fly, press, and press. I love asymmetrical because then I get to really focus on each side of my body. And it's great for my brain because I have to like make it work a little harder. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what did I just do? Alternate it side to side. Press, press, fly, fly. Good. Keep on alternating. Good brain training, right? Good. Press, press, fly, fly. Good. Only one last set left and excellent. It wouldn't be a workout without some chest press. <laughs> Sorry, push-ups. We already did chest press. Wouldn't be a workout without some push-ups, okay? This time is chest press push-ups, okay? Before we did tricep, now we're going to chest press push-ups, okay? So my, my hands are wider and at a little bit of an angle. So I'm pressing down, I'm pressing back up. I'm at the end of my workout, so I'm going down to my knees, but if you're feeling like you got tons of energy, go for the full thing. My knees are down. You can always modify. If you even wanted to make it easier, you could go from here. But that feels weird for me. So I'm gonna go down to my knees here. And again, nothing should ever hurt. It should just feel like you're working. Good, so keep it up. Almost there. Good, two more and one. First, let's go into child's pose. So hinge those hips backward and breathe. Next, you'll shift forward, and then you're gonna thread one arm all the way underneath, and then open it up. So if that feels okay, you can go for a deeper twist. Otherwise, you can just kinda hang out here. And take full, deep belly breaths, and just celebrate the fact that you finished this workout, whether it was just watching the whole thing, good on ya, or doing the whole thing. And then switch to the other side. So thread that arm all the way underneath, open it on up, and never compare yourself to anybody else, okay? Only focus on what's best for you, because some people are more flexible than others, for example. You don't want to stress yourself. Wonderful. Unwind that. And next we'll go for just a tricep stretch. So grab behind that elbow and then bring it up and over. Feels lovely on the side body, on the tricep, this part right here, which we worked on. And excellent. I'm going to move my feet to the other side so everything's balanced. Grab behind that elbow, shift it on over. Full belly breath. All the way in, all the way out. Nice work. Then you're gonna bring your arms all the way across your body. Bring it, turn, and then look down. Bring it all the way up, other side. I'm not holding these for that long, but if you wanted to hold them for longer, you totally can. 30 seconds is a great start. 
or in yin yoga, you hold them for anywhere from five to eight minutes. That's where you're really gonna get into some flexibility work. So here we're just kind of going through the motions, trying different things. If you wanna get into it, 30 seconds, or if you wanna really work on it, try out a yin yoga class or video. Okay, so there's some backwards rolls here. And then some forward rolls. And because we worked our back so much, we're gonna do some cat cows. So you're gonna inhale, look up towards the sky, drop the belly button down. And then exhale, round, draw the navel in towards your spine and check out your belly button. Inhale, look up towards the sky. And exhale a few rounds here. One more round, inhaling all the way up, exhaling down. And wonderful. Last one, come all the way on up. Bring those arms all the way up towards the sky, reaching up and then exhaling down. Fantastic job today, you guys. Thanks so much for joining us here at Jimra. Again, I'm Alice Maples. Come back and do more workouts with us every day. We love to have you. Thanks so much. Great job. I want to invite you to join one of 50 free workout programs at gymra.com. You're never going to get bored and you'll have enough workouts to keep you busy for years to come. I know that's exciting. You'll never hit that workout plateau. Let me show you a little bit about what you can expect. When you sign up for a free account on gymra.com, you'll be asked whether you'd like to be assigned a program based on several basic questions about your fitness level and goals. If you'd rather browse the programs and weigh your options, click on no, I do not want any programs. Head to the programs tab and scroll to find a program that fits your needs. As you can see, we cover everything from weight loss to toning and sculpting, yoga, Pilates, abs, lower body, upper body, we have it all. Now let me show you how the programs work. If you've chosen to be on a program, when you log into gymra.com, you'll be directed to the My Program page, featuring your workout of the day. All you have to do is press play and start exercising. To see details about the workout, click on More Info. The animated GIFs below are the individual moves in the routine. Here, you can see your workout at a glance. You also have access to your personalized weekly and monthly calendar. You can change your program by clicking on the Change Program button. Simply click on See All, then select your desired program. Watch the introduction video and check out the details by scrolling down the page. If the program looks like a good fit for you, then simply click on Switch to this program and you're all set. Your new program will start automatically. If you're unable to do the workout, save it for later by clicking on the plus button next to the title. This adds it to my list. I want to thank you for choosing Jimra. I know you have a lot of options. We've spent so much time and effort here to bring you world-class trainers, a huge variety of workouts, and it's all for free. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoy the free workout programs, and we'll see you soon.